lot of best-selling t-shirt designs have one thing in common. They have texture effects applied to them to make them look more vintage and professional. And that's why in this video, I'm going to show you four different methods of how to apply texture to your t-shirts so you can try and get more sales. I wanted to show you some different tools and different ways to do this so that you can find the right one for your process or for your workflow. And I think my favorite one is probably the last method I'll show you because it doesn't just save you a ton of time, but it is also free. The first method I'm going to show you is a very fast and easy one inside of Adobe Illustrator. So if you create your t-shirts with Illustrator, this is very handy to know. Um, you need a texture file in SVG format, it won't work with the PNG file, and obviously a design. So this is a vintage sunset from my free print on demand graphics bundle, which is linked in the description. And you need to make sure that your design file is grouped together. Um, so if it wasn't grouped and these could be moved individually, then this method wouldn't work. So make sure to select everything and hit Control G. And then you just have to move your texture file over the design and sort of position it in a way that looks good. If you have text in your design, you don't want to have too much texture overlaid onto the text and make sure that it's still readable. And once you're happy, select both the texture and the sunset or the, or the design and then head over to the transparency panel. If you can't see this panel anywhere, then head up to Window and tick Transparency at the bottom. But once you've got it open, just hit Make Mask and then untick this clip option right here. And once you've done that, you will notice if we draw this over that the background color shines through in these texture cutouts, which is really handy. That's what we wanted. And if we were to now export this file, um, save for web and have PNG selected, you can see that the transparency definitely works with this method. Now, the only thing I want to make you aware of here is if we hit Control Y, um, you can tell that the vector paths are still of the original design. So the texture does not get cut out from the actual vector. Uh, so if you want to make designs and, and sell them as digital downloads, then this method doesn't work. But I'm guessing most of you are here for t-shirt designs, so you're definitely okay using this. The second method I've got for you is a free one and all you need for it is a Merch by Amazon account and you need to have Productor installed. That is a free Chrome extension, which I will leave a link in the description for. And once you've got it installed, you will get a lot of useful features, including this texture one. So you just have to upload your design that you want to apply the texture to and then head up to this button right here that says mask and halftone. And just try out a few of these options, for example, mask six, Distress 3 and I do quite like some of these halftone ones as well. So just click a few of them to try them out and as you can see Producta quickly downloads our design file again and if we open this that is the first texture effect um, that I clicked on. It's quite a rough one, so it's not going to work with every type of design, um, but it has quite a nice vintage, um, sort of worn feel to it. And it's cut out from the design, as you can see right here, and this sort of gray of the, well, Windows photo thingy shines through. This is the second option. Um, this texture does not get cut out from the design itself. It is more of an overlay, but once again, um, it has a nice sort of grainy feel and looks very old school. It doesn't work for every single design, every single niche, but it's handy to have that. And here are the halftone ones, which I really like this one. Um, halftone texture effects definitely look really nice and I have gotten a lot of sales with them in the past. So uh, I do recommend trying out these product textures. They're really fast and they're free to use if you have merch by Amazon. The third method I wanted to show you is in Adobe Photoshop. For this one, you will need obviously a design file once again and a texture in PNG format. And I will leave a download link to that texture in the description down below if you want to test this one out for yourself or use it in your t-shirt designs. And essentially, um, I would recommend having a black background layer um, so you can more easily move the texture file around and sort of check it for the right placement. And uh, once you're happy with that, you will want to head over to the layers panel, hold down control, and then click on the thumbnail of your texture file, left click that is. And that will sort of select all of the texture itself, then head up to select over here and click inverse. Once you've done that, you will want to go back to the layers panel, click 
the design file itself. If you have multiple design elements, you will have to group them beforehand and then select the group. But once you've done that, hit this little symbol down here. Now, if we hide the black background layer, and the texture layer you can see that our design file has the texture effect applied and the background shining through the fourth and final method is going to use my designs and this is probably the best free way to apply texture to your t-shirt designs because you can do it in bulk for up to 24 designs at once with the free version um, if you have upgraded plans you can do it with up to 120 designs in one go i think um, but the free version being sold time saving already is really amazing so all you have to do is sign up via the link in the description and once you've done that head over to the listings tab right here where you can then create a new folder if you click on the home text right here it will let you create a new one and once you've done that just head over to the blue upload button right here in the top right corner and click that one and here you can drop your design files into i'm going to just use the 30 graphics files that are in my free print and demand graphic bundle which once again is linked in the description you can see all of the files right here and once you've dragged and dropped all of your files into this uploader then you just have to click upload all and hit upload designs then just give my designs like a couple of minutes to import all of these files into this folder you can click off the screen while it's doing it and do something else and then just come back to it in a couple of minutes so once that's finished head up to this button over here click on that and then select all Next up, you want to click on more actions, the button right next to it, and head all the way down to image utility, where you will want to select image effect. And this is going to bring up a new window, where as you can see, you've got a nice texture effect right here selected. Um, but first of all, before we look through the different textures on offer, um, you will have to create a new file slot, because currently we've only got the default one, which is where all of our PNG images are held. And we need to create a second one right here by clicking that plus symbol for our textured version. Um, because once the texture is applied, they will all save in that slot and we can download that slot in one go. Once you've named your file slot, just click on this little uh, green tick mark, hit yes, and that should have added the new slot to your folder. Cracks effect one, that's the one that we can see right here. Uh, if you click into this and just hit the downwards arrow, you can see the different examples of textures. That one is quite nice, distressed effect, engraving. Um, the grunge one option could work really well for t-shirt design my favorite is probably grunge four which i'm going to show you in a minute here but as you can see there's quite a lot of cool options that are worth trying out and at the bottom effect color i would recommend just using the default transparent option because it's going to cut out texture from your design so that the t-shirt color shines through but you could also change this to add color if you wanted to and make the texture of apply in a custom color instead so once you set all of these to your desired settings just hit generate preview and it's going to pull the first image in your folder and just give you a bit of an example of what it is going to look like um, this could take a few seconds but once that's done and um, we can then hit apply image effect and yeah basically apply the texture in bulk to everything at once so there we go that's the preview generated i'm happy with that and uh, if you are as well then just click this green button right here and hit continue and that's now going to add this image effect job right here into the active jobs queue um, which is going to run through while this is running you could even exit the browser and, and do something completely else it is all cloud based which is extremely useful because you're not easily going to lose any data or active jobs um, that you've assigned to your folder and this is usually quite quick for image effects and um, it can take a bit longer if you do something else like mockups which is also right here in the actions tab by the way there's a mockups option right here so you can create mockups in bulk which i'll probably make a video about in the future as well and there we go that job is done and now you can click on the file slots filter right here and change that to textured and that way the thumbnails over here are going to change to your second file slot and you can preview essentially what all of your files are going to look like sometimes there's a little symbol like this but um, it is still generated just the preview isn't working and essentially um, if you're happy with that now you could just add a different texture effect as well and, and just add a new file slot but if you're happy with how all of your designs look just head up to more actions and click download as zip so you can download them all in one go make sure that the texture file slot is selected and then just click download as zip right here 
And there we go, that's our folder. Now you just have to extract it on your PC and you're sorted. You've saved yourself a lot of time. Um, obviously the first time you try out my designs, it might take you an extra few minutes, but once you get used to it, this is going to take like two, three minutes at a time just to create like 24 texture designs in one go, uh, rather than two or three minutes for each design individually. If you want to learn how to create amazing print on demand graphics using artificial intelligence, then make sure to check out this video next where I introduce you to Creative Fabrica Spark.